This lesson is from our series, Major Scale Mastery. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play all seven major scale patterns. I'm currently working on the corresponding Major Scale Mastery e-guide. The e-guide will follow along with each video lesson to help you get the most out of this series. It will include all the charts and diagrams for each video lesson, as well as bonus content. And I've decided to offer you this e-guide completely for free. To learn more, click the link on the screen or look in the description below. So like I said, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you all seven major scale patterns. And I'm not going into much theory with the major scale. If you want to learn the theory, you can check out our series, Music Theory for Guitar, or one of our music theory courses on our site. This is really practical ways to play the major scale. I've already covered all the theory in those lessons, so you can go watch those if you want to learn the theory. And when I'm talking about a major scale pattern, it's just a way to break up the major scale up and down the fretboard. The way the fretboard is laid out, you have multiple ways to play one thing because you have what are called unison notes, which are the exact same note on different strings. It's unlike the piano where the piano doesn't have any unison notes. You'd have to play the same note twice to have a unison. But on the guitar, for example, if I play this A note on the third string second fret, this note on the fourth string seventh fret is the same note. And you'll find that all over the guitar. Again, if you want to learn more about that, you can check out our music theory courses or lessons. But just understand that the major scale can be played in multiple ways on the fretboard, and these patterns are just ways to break it up so that you can memorize them and actually get them under your fingers. And I say patterns instead of positions because to me, a pattern is a fingering, a way that you play it. A position is where you are on the fretboard. So for example, if I was playing G major scale pattern one, that's part of it, that's part of pattern one. I'm in the third position and that's because my first finger's in the third fret. So to me, this is major scale pattern one in the key of G, but it would be in the third position just because my first finger is in the third fret. A lot of people will say positions instead of patterns, but that's why I say patterns and I just don't want there to be any confusion. And also, I'm going to show you seven patterns and that's because there's seven notes of the major scale and I'm going to start a pattern on every single note of the major scale. So pattern number one is going to start on the first note of the major scale, pattern number two is going to start on the second note, and so on. There are other ways to play the major scale patterns on the fretboard. You can have five patterns, like from the cage system, and that starts on five notes of the major scale. But really, it still covers all the notes. It's just that you're not starting with your lowest note on every single note of the major scale. So for example, with the cage system, this would be pattern one. But in the system I'm going to show you, that's going to be pattern seven because in the cage system, you're starting on this note and then you go all the way down to this note and then back up. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to start on the lowest note within every pattern and then that'll follow every note of the major scale. So just don't worry about it. if you hear something like three notes per string or the five pattern system from the cage system, it's all accomplishing the same goal. It's just different ways of breaking it up. Because like I said, there's multiple ways to break up and play the same thing on the guitar because of unison notes. And if you already know a different version, if you already know the cage system patterns, if you know the three notes per string patterns, or even two and three notes per string with seven patterns like I'm gonna be showing you, but a different way of doing it, it's fine. You don't have to learn these exact patterns. If you're comfortable with different patterns, those are fine as well. And you can skip this lesson and move to further lessons in this series where I'm gonna show you different things you can do with the patterns no matter which ones you play. But this is for you if you don't know the patterns already or you don't feel comfortable with the ones you know. These are the ones that I like to use. So I'm teaching everything in the key of G, so we're gonna be playing the G major scale, and I'm only doing it in G because of where it falls on the fretboard. I can start down here and work my way up. But these patterns stay the same no matter what key you're in. So if I'm in the key of B flat, they're gonna be the exact same fingerings, I'm just gonna be in a different position or in a different place on the fretboard. So for example, here's the start of G major scale pattern one. That's one octave of it. If I was to play in the key of B flat instead of G, I would just be playing it here. But it's the exact same fingering. So once you learn these patterns in one key, you can move them to any key you just need to know where your tonics are, which I'm gonna teach you in this series, 
and then you'll be able to play them in any key. It's just you're going to be in a different spot on the fretboard. So now I'm just going to go over the patterns and first I'll just play it through fairly quickly, not super fast, but I'm just going to play it through so you can hear it. And then I'm going to play it really slow and the diagrams will be on the screen showing you what fingers to use. So I'm not going to go through and explain every finger because that'll just take too long and you can see it on the diagrams. And the diagrams are also in the e-guide so you don't have to go back and watch these lessons over and over again. You can always have those to check them out as you're learning them. So here's G major scale pattern one. And you can use alternate picking, so down, up, down, up, down, up. Or if you don't have alternate picking down yet, you can just go all down. So down, 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 and so on. Or whatever picking you use. This isn't a technique course. I'm not teaching that. You can watch other courses or lessons for that on YouTube or anywhere. Really, this is just about how to play the actual patterns. And when I play, I use a combination. I'm not just doing all alternate picking. Sometimes I sweep some strings and different things or use economy picking. So whatever you're most comfortable with is fine. So now here's G major scale pattern two.
So that's all seven patterns, but this last pattern I played, pattern seven, if you don't have an electric guitar, you might not be able to reach that high. So it can also be played down here in octave lower. So here it is an octave lower, which is starting one note below pattern one. So that's the exact same pattern, it's just one octave lower, meaning that it's the same notes, just 12 half steps lower. So if I started here, I just count down 12 frets and I have the exact same notes, just lower in pitch. So for practice, just get those seven patterns down. Just start with pattern one and play it super slowly. Just follow the diagrams in the e-guide Pick it whatever way you're most comfortable with, so all alternate picking or all down picks or whatever. Most important is just getting these fingerings down. And again, I'm not going over a lot of this stuff in detail about technique and stuff because this isn't a technique course. It's really just about the major scale. If you need information about how to actually fret notes and proper hand position and picking, you need to check out other lessons or courses for that. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on any of that for this series because I really just want to focus on what you can do with the major scale and really mastering it. So just work on one pattern at a time, start with the lowest note, go all the way up, all the way back down, just like I demonstrated. Once you're comfortable with the one pattern, then you can move on to the next pattern and so on. So no matter how long it takes, just really do it slowly, spend your time on it, get it down. And then in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to connect everything meaning how to connect all these patterns up and down the fretboard and not just play them up and down in one position. And actually, I think that's two lessons away, not the next lesson. So next lesson, we're gonna look at the tonics and the intervals within each pattern and the note names. So that's how to play all seven major scale patterns in the key of G. Like I said, in the next lesson, we're gonna look at the tonics and the intervals and the note names within each pattern. So thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and keep moving forward.